Welcome back for the fourth year in a row. The Great Cloth Diaper Change is taking place at Sahali Mall this Saturday. Donica Flat is in charge of it all, and it's great to have you back on the show. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so this is coming up fairly quickly. We had you on a few weeks ago, and suddenly it's just here now. It is, and yeah. I don't know where the time went. It's always the way. Um, so the event takes place at Sahali Mall, just outside of where Target used to be. Um, it's 10 till 2, and the actual change itself, I know people have been asking about that, is at 11 o'clock. That's when the whistle will blow and the actual change happens. Um, but before and after, there's lots that we're having too. We're having some vendors, so Tupperware and Soapworks, doTERRA, Nuggles, Peekaboo Beans, Norwex, um, some ready-made soups for those busy parents, uh, Steep Tea, Twist of Fate, um, temple adornment, snuggly bums, and as well as some community booths are going to be there. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be some activities for the older children. So sometimes, because it's that one-to-one -one ratio in the change area, sometimes the siblings, um, we don't want them to feel left out or anything like that. So we're going to have a mini change for them so they can participate in their own way in the, in the diaper change, um, as well as some crafts and activities for them. How many communities around the world are taking part in this? Do you have a ballpark? This goes on There's, in different countries. It does. It's yeah. all around the world. There's over 200 locations. And uh, the record we're hoping to beat is just under 10,000 cloth diapers changed in that 24-hour period. So this is obviously a push for cloth diapers and, and the importance of thinking about the environment when it comes to the choices you make when you're having children. You've brought a sample here. I did. This We'd is the one. Close up. Sure, this is the one we use in our diaper service. Um, so the client um, puts a sun baby, throws it in the diaper pail. This is what we take away and wash. Um, and they wash this portion. Um, and last year, in a three-month period, we diverted over 10,000 diapers from the Kamloops landfill. So even though people don't think they can make a difference, um, every diaper that's not in the landfill counts, and it mm -hmm. adds up very, very quickly. And the time it takes to decompose a, a, a regular diaper that's not cloth is like hundreds of years. Yeah, it's they haven't even 300 to 500 it. years. They don't even know, and the average child will give five to 8,000 diapers in a mm -hmm. landfill. So that's a lot of diapers sitting. Are we seeing an increase in how many people are using cloth diapers in this town? We are. We have a really strong cloth community here in town. Um, natural parenting in general, there's a really big um, baby wearing community as well, which is also nice to see. Um, Nuggles, one of the one of the um, companies that will be there on Saturday. She's local, a local distributor, and has lots of locations around the world that that buy her stuff. So okay. that's kind of nice to have that support. Um, and yeah, just more people are using it themselves or using the diaper service. Mm -hmm. So Halley Mall this Saturday, do people need to sign up ahead or can they just show up? And they can show up and if you don't cloth diaper, you're not excluded by any means. We welcome everyone. Um, you can register online at snugglybums.com. There's World Record 2015 uh, link. And uh, when you register, you just indicate if you need to borrow a diaper or not and we bring one along for you. Excellent. And people can get to know a little bit more about some of these companies just by being there because of all the vendors. So Absolutely. it's a win-win. Yeah. All right, Donica, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. We will take a quick break. We have more midday when we come back. Stay with us.